Welcome you all to the DND learning series. Today we are going to see about IR line follower array. So we'll see in detail about their connections, how we make use of it and uh, their programming too. So IR sensor, IR line follower array will come in different different forms or uh, depends upon the company which is producing it. There are different varieties available in the market. Today we are going to see about the first two, the blue in color and the red one. You can see that red one is having four IR sensor. It's nothing but a combination of four IR sensor integrated on the same board. While the another is having total six IR sensors and one bump sensor. So six IR sensor will output, give the output, and those output will be considered as S1, S2, 3, 4, and 5. Another is CLP and near. Near is nothing but the IR sensor which is mounting in the front, which will give an output if anything comes in the front and the CLP is nothing but your bump sensor. So this is how this IR line follow array will help you to detect even the objects in the front while it is following the line. So you know how the IR sensor works, IR emitter emits the rays, it goes and bounces back from the surface, it will be received by the uh, receiver and it will give a object, it will sense the object in front. But in terms of an IR line follower array, it is kind of a different. So you know that a reflection so same way the ir emitter which is emitting the rays will go and fall on the white surface the reflection will be more but when it the same ir rays follows on the or falls on the uh, black surface the reflection is less because the amount of that ir energy is being absorbed by the black surface you know that black body absorption so because of that it will take that it will sense and it will differentiate the surfaces like which is a black surface and which is a bright surface or a white surface so accordingly it can differentiate between the darkness and the brightness and so it can follow the line okay it can follow the line by this principle this is the working principle of that ir line follower array you can see that this sensor is nothing but as i said that integration of five ir sensors uh, which have been integrated on the same board for the sake of making it very easy to use uh, to build the IR line follower array robots. Okay, so we'll see how the robot works here. Consider that you have left a robot on the black line and you are using two IR sensors. One left, one right sensor. Accordingly, you are having two motors which is controlling the movement. Left motor, right motor. And it's a trivial robot going in a straight direction powered equally to both the motors now while moving because of some variation or fluctuation or because maybe because of the surface your robot is getting deviated to the right in a first scenario it is getting deviated to the right and the left ir sensor now is on the black line it sends the black line it got lower reflection compared to the white surface so it got uh, identified as this is a dark line so what uh, according to our program what it will do what you can do with the robot is either you can stop the left motor and uh, move the right motor until that left IR sensor comes out of the uh, dark surface or you can slowly reduce this left motor power and right motor power so that it will get corrected to the line in the another scenario the robot is getting deviated to the left side the right IR sensor is on the black line now it got detected with the black surface as I said, it's up to you how you program the robot. You can slow down the right motor and increase the power to the left motor or you can completely make the right motor idle and move the left motor until the right IR sensor comes out of that dark surface. So this is how it corrects itself and follow the line. So you can see the complete picture here. In the scene 1 and scene 2, you will get the two different scenarios. Uh, initially, both the motors are moving uh, in a straight line. So uh, when the robot will keep on moving or equally power the motor when both the IR sensor are on a uh, bright surface. So the first scenario going to the right side, left motor power is down, right side power is a little bit increased that you can see in a green line, that green arrow, otherwise all the arrows are in yellow color when the mo both the motors are getting equally powered. So in the scene two, you can see that the uh, motor or the robot has got deviated to the left side and right side motor power got reduced left side it has been increased to just correct the course and hence the move, robot is moving in a straight line and at the end point if both the 
IR sensors comes to the dark line, the robot will stop. So if you take any zigzag line or any curved surface in a dark line, so there is no any issues as it will follow the same principle to follow the line, differentiate between the dark surface and the bright surface, it can take left or right or it will do the corrections and it will move in a uh, move according to the line and also it need not to have the black line only you can take any dark very dark color like very dark uh, blue uh, dark red uh, so dark purple so but you need to adjust the range of the IR sensor using the potentiometer so here is the circuit connections for your IR line for our using two IR sensors the one you need one motor driver here to control the motor that is called as L293D so L293 is required to control the motors. So here is the L293, you can see the connections in 1, 2, 3, 4, EN1, EN2, VCC and GND, you know that. On the left side, here is your motor connection, A+, plus, A-, minus, B+, plus, B-. Minus. So this is for two motors, so you can connect the two motors here. So here is the circuit connections, motor 1, motor 2, as well as the external DC, it requires 12 voltage because 9 volt is not sufficient for this. Uh, uh, for this motor driver so that you have to do the connections so using a IR line follower array you can make the line follower robots beautiful line follower robots and uh, whatever the IDE language or the program required to do this we are given in the description box the link is given you can download it so best of luck and do well thanks for watching the video please do subscribe our channel for watching the videos like this opinions and suggestions are most welcome Thank you.